carbuncle welding. My name is David Kojewski from Atashek. Welcome in the next film. Today you're going to see quite peculiar element to repair. It came to us from one of the clients that we cooperate with for some time now. In both American and European markets, it is very common to come across the bumpers made uh, polypropylene of this. One here is T25 plus S20. There's an extract of the bumper from Mazda and it is from American version of the car not European one, but it's quite similar. Due to the fact that there are 45% of additional fillers like talc or chalk and others, that is PP T25 plus S20, there is about 50% of plastic itself or as you may say it is merely 50%. The pumper itself is definitely a strong piece, especially when it comes to flexibility, but the issue about that is welding. In a moment I'm going to show you how to fix it. Due to the fact that there are two different techniques of repairing where there are over 40% of various additions in the materials. And it is fortunately or not very common in the PP materials. If you are experienced in welding, you know that there aren't as many additions in other materials as here. In this film, I'm going to show you how to embed the Uflex plastic with the use of a hot iron tool. It is available in two versions, the one that you are going to see in a moment and we recommend to use it if you have already got a powerful blower, you may purchase the iron itself. And if you wish to see it in action, you may subscribe to our channel and watch the other film where we use glue repairs. The other way of bonding the parts will be a special glue that will be shown as well. To show you what happens with the binder and how it grips the parts, we did some tests beforehand to show you. In a moment you will see live the reaction of the plastics and filler reaction in particular. I will demonstrate hot iron on the bumper element or other plastic parts of the car where various handles are present. The most common damages in the bumper are broken handles, as you can see here, for example. In other words, the parts were bold, both metal or plastic are used. The other way where we are going to demonstrate the gluing is when, when we deal with brittle across the element. It may be caused by accidental heat on the curb and there you have it. Despite its flexibility uh, of the object, it happens very often. And it usually occurs while you drive and overlook some parts on the roads that protrude from it. Or when you wish to dismantle the object and miss one of the balls and you pull it accidentally and there you have it. After preparation of the surface I will move on to the procedure itself. Now I will prepare the surface 
to embed a few centimeters of PPU plastic. That's enough. The point is to show you how does this binder react with the material and then I am going to move on to prepare the surface of the handles it themselves. I will use PPU for binding. From our tests we can see that no standard binder would hold it together. However, the PPU is much stronger than any other. I will use triangular binder here. Turn on and carry on with the welding. In the meantime, as the binder cools down, I will pre prepare the other part. The bumper here is vanished, so I need to remove it first. Now I'm scrapping and will make a cut in a moment. You don't have to worry about that if you have removed too much of the outer layer as the material will be filled completely with the Uflex binder and there will be no problem whatsoever. And so uh, it is prepared and degreased too. Now we shall wait for a moment for it to evaporate. In the meantime, I'm going to show you uh, the binder that we did a while ago uh, that was embedded earlier. As you can see, the binder sticks to the surface very well, but when you use some force, you don't call it a reliable bind. It usually happens with the regular binder. We did a few tests and to tell you the truth it isn't really expected. As you can see 
here there is a grey coating after removing the binder. As you can see, there is a coating removing the binder. It means that there are lots of fillers used here, talk, chalk or others, MPDMs, all, all these used to make it more flexible. If sometimes like this occur, all you need to do is to increase the temperature to 300 or 320 centigrade. If it's still too fragile, then you will need to use a glue or uflex welding that I'm, that I'm going to demonstrate now. Let's see what's in the box. The tool comes with a powerful controller, two nozzles, irons, one of them is used for U-flex welding that I am to demonstrate in a moment, and the other one with a hole inside is for PUR binder. There is also U-flex binder. PUR binder and three 15 to 20 centimeter nets with three various density and they are elastic, medium, stiff. You will use the one that helps you with your repair and won't be too flexible when done. The stiffer the better, in the example presented we'll use number 3, that is stiffest one. PUR binder will be talked more in other footage. PUR stands for polyurethane material widely used in the Mercedes or other more expensive cars bumpers for example. You may also use it for other parts in the cars that bear PU or PUR signature and sometimes RAM. Uflex binder that you're going to see here in a moment contains glass fibers and it is recommended for the areas where you can't use a regular binder or wish you the loss in the material to rebuild the one that lost completely. Use this for majority of plastics that uh, you may weld with regular band uh, like PP, ABS and others. For those who have a stapler, and we recommend to have one of course, as it helps with binding, Embedding a few staples, the element will um, move while welding and you will not need any tapes. We'll start with one staple from one side. I'm cutting the redundant endings. I have already prepared some net. Mind that the net should be a bit wider than the damage. As you can see, my net fits perfectly. I have left it a bit longer and you will see later why. Usually you cut it. The iron is hot. It is important to use the appropriate level power. Here I am using about 60% um, of power as it is perfect for PP. Remember to preheat it a bit to set the desired temperature. So set it, say, 60% at first and then test how it works. 
poczekać te 3 do 5 minut zanim się całość nagrzeje. Test if the materials melts a bit. Make sure it does not melt completely and if everything is fine only then you may adjust it if needed to 10 to 20 percent more. Here I have increased to 80, but 70 is fine. The repair itself is to embed the Uflex or PUR binder first, and after that you will embed the net or fold it. Do it inch by inch. Here is the cut I did before. I will fill it now. What you need to remember is that Uflex binder itself was to be melt completely, unlike the regular wending, and the first layer the most important one was to be poured in the plastic that you repair. The layer is done and now comes the net. And supporting it a bit from the bottom or with the help of a plank or a stone that will help you when pressing so the surface stays intact. Tutaj z tą powierzchnią się nic nie, nie działo. Zatapiamy Embed the net. If needs be, support it with a screwdriver until the binder cools down. Should you need more binder, you can add some and remember to press it a bit so the binder will go through the net.
As you can see, we're almost done. What you need to remember is when you use the Uflex binder, the net should be rounded on the corners and Uflex or PUR should exceed the net circle half of the millimeters like here. The two things to add is the hole uh, that was here before and if you wish to do that take a drill or a mill, anything that will let you to do it. As you can see, the hole itself for the plastic or metal bolt is done. If it is too narrow, you may broaden it a bit. Why the net has been left? It is to demonstrate the point when the wall is thick and uh, that are huge powers used on the element so you may turn the element and repeat the procedure like I do. Remember to do the same uh, thing uh, in both sides if, if needed. It is important that the net was to be the same from both sides, so don't use other type of nets and therefore I have left extra net to fold over and embed it. Remember to use the same net for both sides. In this case, of course, the welded part is strong enough and I can test it now, as you see. So there is no damage hazard. Should you have some doubts about, however, that you may always weld it from both sides. I will cut that, of course, as there is no need for further welding. All that you need to do now is to grind the surface and paint it if needed. As you could see, the Uflex welding is easy as regular welding and perhaps even easier. It is due to the fact that no matter what the element is made of, you can use the Uflex binder with the exception of PUR, of course where we have polyurethane binder that I showed you at the beginning. Feel free to see the next one where I'm going to show other way of repairing the element through gluing this time. Below you will find the link to that film or it will be mailed to you if you are subscribed to our mailing list. Make sure you see the next part on YouTube or follow us at the Facebook. Thank you for your attention.